Hi friends, hope everyone's doing well. I thought it would be fun to take you on a little sneak peek in my gardens. I'm setting up a little photo shoot of paintings that I will have available later on this fall. This is part of my garden collection. And um, there's a couple pieces that aren't quite finished yet, so I'm just sort of playing around right now, setting them up out here. Thought it would be fun to set them on this couch and just put them in the midst of my gardens. They were most of them were painted from either these gardens or the ones in front of my house or around my house and this piece here in the middle with the nasturtiums it is echoing a garden patch that i plant every year and this is my huge nasturtium patch which i absolutely love and i just love the big big leaves and how the water kind of clings to them in the mornings with the dew and you can see a long tendril here has just jumped ship completely and then over here there's another little one that's jumped ship there as well and my nasturtiums are really special to me because they're reflective of my dad like my dad is 89 and he still does a little bit of gardening but he always plants nasturtiums and this piece, I just really wanted to capture the, you know, the the strength of the the piece as far as like the size and the size of the leaves and whatnot. And every year, he does this, and I really loved the variegated leaves. Um, he had a few, I think, with the variegated leaves, but I kind of came upon those myself, and I just really loved them. So um, this piece was just kind of special. It took me two seasons to paint it because I paint solely from life. So one season I ran out of time when I first started it, the frost came and killed the, 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 the nasturtium. So I had to wait until the next year and I picked it up again and finished it. Uh, the one down here to the left is not quite finished yet, but these are of tulips and they were in my front gardens, but they're no longer because moles came upon us this past winter and killed those and they were just so beautiful they were really tall they were huge tulips so i wanted to capture that the one below it was done in my um, neighbor's garden she has these old wild roses around a burn and she allowed me to go there i was down there many many sessions and in the midst of like heat waves and everything so that was kind of fun and then this one, this little one is a Japanese anemone and that was done in my gardens in behind my house. And the other one was done actually as a tribute to this, this um, planter here. Last year I planted the same planter with an annual seed mix and it just, I was amazed how well it grew and I really wanted to capture that. So I captured it in that little painting there. Um, I had to take the planter inside later on last fall because it was getting too cold and the plants were starting to die, but I, I was able to finish it. And this one, the cosmos and the nasturtiums, that was also part of my gardens. And the, this one here was um, some little snowdrops that I planted a couple years ago. And this year they came up so tall and beautifully and I was like just so excited to see them. And the flowering quince, the, the reddish orangey color there, that's a flowering quince and it's a huge tree that we have in front of our house. And I, I wanted to include those with the snowdrops. Down below is the one that you've probably seen me working on. And it is of wild roses and bellflowers and some blackberries, but I'm not finished of it yet, but just almost getting there. And then this was another Japanese anemone that I had um, one spring. I didn't plant it immediately, and I, I just loved how it, 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 just the flowing movement of it and whatnot. So um, I made a painting of it. So here, I'll just take you around my gardens for a minute. So there's the nasturtium patch. Um, in the middle, you'll see this tall rose bush, and that was just planted this year. Isn't that amazing? And those roses, like, oh, I was really surprised how tall they grew. And they these ones are just blooming again. I should get inside my, I have um, like a, an electric fence around my gardens because the deer are terrible here. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't have gardens at all. They'd have them all munched out. So here's the roses. Aren't they pretty? Just beautiful color. 
And then these sunflowers were my dad's seeds. Last year he took a great big sunflower head and he hauled out like hundreds of seeds. And I planted a few this year. I planted more than this, but some of them didn't take because something got them. My garden is like, you know, on its last legs now because of fall coming. However, there's still lots of beauty in it. And I love coming here in the morning. Today, it's a little cloudy. It's not as pretty as it would be in the sunlight. And these just bloomed. These are my morning glories. Aren't they pretty? I just love the color of them. Oops. <laughs> Aren't those pretty? Just love them. So those are there. And then here is my, this is spearmint. And it just grows wild. I actually have it in a bucket planted in the ground because it, it just grows, it, it, it can be really invasive. So I do that with it. And there's some more morning glory. And these are zinnias that my dad gave me. He planted them from seed. And look at them, look how tall they are. Like they really grew. And this year we fashioned this little hoop-like thing because my other bean tunnel had fallen down. And it's been really good except for the wind the last little while. And it just kind of twisted it downward, but um, it's still standing, so that's great. And you can see all the, the bean blossoms up above there. And look at some of the huge beans on it. <laughs> and you know, the hummers absolutely love this bean tunnel. They just love it, but they're gone. I'm sad because they're gone now for the season. Little hummers have left us. And there's some more Cynia, uh, some Cosmos. And this is something I planted this year. It's some eucalyptus in there. And I mean, some of the of the lavatera, these are one of my very, very, very favorites. And they're from my dad. He planted them from seed and they really love it over here. They're start, some of them are starting to go from go to seed now, but they're still pretty beautiful. And look, look, look. These are my anemones that just started to bloom. These guys are really late bloomers. And they bloom really late in the season. My other ones have already been in bloom. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. And uh, I'll keep you in touch with my upcoming show that will be available late fall. And this was just a little trial shoot right now. You can message me and tell me what you think.